Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Siren Frost, and thank you for coming back to my channel again. And in this video, we will be doing, for this week's deck profile two-parter video, we're going to be doing Bastion and Bruce. Now, in this video, we're going to be doing the Bruce first, with the new uh, grade 4 version of Bruce. Every time I hear say Bruce, I hear from Finding Little Nemo, Finding Nemo, but like, hello, Bruce, kind of thing. You know, trying to make it a little more hilarious. Now, I'm very conflicted with this deck, honestly, because of two reasons. One, Dodging, Dodgy, or Donji is now a member of Team Daybreak, so now he's no longer part of Team Blackout. So I'm waiting, I'm going to be trying to get more of those sleeves for Daybreak's team only. And then I'll try to find ways to get blackouts, uh, more sleeves for blackout for the team themselves. If it makes any sense. That, and I also, so for right now, I'll be using these guys that you get from like the the set four collection in the, the boxes here. So it's easy to tell which deck switch, you know, whatnot. But, um, yeah. That, and also the new support here we've got, this is basically the eternal version. So... Remember you all tell I told you guys about I'm converting all my decks into a certain trigger uh, format that I like, and it's easy for me to understand. Well, everything's gonna be back into rainbow like it was in the trial decks. So, with a small little exceptions, you know, I I seen a lot of videos about um, don't play the draws because it's just stupid, or don't play fronts because and play more criticals, more draws, draws and crits, um, four fronts and eight crits. You know, depending on what your um, ratio can be. Um, there might be a come a time where I will take out the draw triggers. Because I want to, you know, I want to have that 8 crit uh, advantage right there. But for right now, I think this is good. And it's something for me to learn and try playing rainbow again. You know, taste the fucking rainbow. You know, it's, gonna, it's not going to kill nobody. Honestly. So, with that being said, let's get on with the video. So, we're going to be starting with. Uh, the right deck, which is of course Donji's uh, signature character deck build. This is going to be Innocent Matt for grade 0. Grade 1 we have Steve. Grade 2 we have Richard. <laughs> Oils up up Richard. Sorry, just a quote from the, a movie. And then finally we got the grade one, grade 3 Bruce. So the fun fact you guys, if this was a true cross ride build, that if I really wanted to, I can build, I can play three regular Bruces and then play the cross ride grade four. But for right now, let's try it with just one, just this for right now with, um, there's only two grade threes in this deck and they're not normal units. So this is the, this is the ride deck right here of my choosing. And of course, they're the ones who have the, the Bruce sleeves as well. So we got those. Now, for the main deck, of course, it's going to be four heals, three draws, uh, four crits, and four fronts, and then one over trigger. Um, you guys can argue the fact that this is not going to be a good build because, you know, it's not a standard format kind of build, you know, to some people's liking. But this is what I prefer. And if you guys don't like it, then suck a dick or whatever, you know. Not, I don't really mean to say that, but, you know... You keep your opinion, keep your negative thoughts to yourself, and I like to accept actual, you know, reviews and actual people telling me that okay, this is what your build is, good, it's okay. This is what my build is, and I sometimes get the recipes from their builds too. But it is what the fuck it is at this point, and people just want to be. It's the it's the internet, you guys. You guys can't win, or not you guys, but you just can't win with the internet. Okay. So for heals, we got four Arianas, which is standard pure uh, Diablo's build. Three copies of uh, Rouse Windmaster Riley. She's your 10k um, uh, guard and also a draw trigger as well. Don't really see the whole problem with that either. And four crits, we have Steam Deviant Dragon, which is a 20k shield uh, defend to guard with. Well... Oh, no, 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 wait. I'm thinking in the front. Sorry. Um, this dragon here is actually a booster for 2k when it's called to rear guard. Um, after the end of the battle, it boosted. So it goes into the soul, which is 
you know, Diablo's uh, Bruce was always meant for, like, the soul-charging, soul-blasting kind of gimmick that all Dark States kind of usually have. Sometimes. Then we got four uh, Natalias for our 20k shields, you know, whatever. And then we have our uh, Overtrigger Gelmet Held. Gamma Held. If you guys can pronounce that freaking last name of this Overtrigger, please let me know in the comments because that is a bitch. I almost call him Gilgamesh for some reason. For some reason, the name Gilgamesh kind of got in my head a bit. I don't know where got, that came from. So yeah, that is my trigger lineup, and it's going to be a standard uh, trigger lineup for me until the newer stuff comes out. But I believe um, in Season 3, they actually call it Will Dress instead of Overdress again. So I was like, oh, boy, this is going to be bad. Oh, and I did see the new uh, Dark State stuff in the Set 5 collection. I'm not very too pleased with it because it's not what I feel like a, a, monster, a normal monster or a normal unit should probably be like. But that's just me. It is what it is. Okay. <clears throat> so. So. For our grade ones lineup, we're playing actually 12 grade ones in this deck. And we're playing four copies of Di Diablo's Jetter Wade. Now, what Wade kind of does, and I'll read his effect, he's an active skill rear guard only. So, fair enough. If you have a vanguard with Bruce in its card name, put this unit into your soul. Choose one of your vanguards, and it gets plus ten thousand power at the end of the turn. And it's only it's not one per turn, so you can play these. You can play as many copies as you want with this card. So I'm playing four because if you play all three within the first turn of Bruce, he's going to be up to thirty thousand power, and your opponent may either have, have resort to a complete guard, or you know guard with everything in their hand, but. Still, that adds more fuel to the soul with Soul Blasting with Bruce's skill for later. <laughs> then we have four copies of Diablo's Madonna Regina. Um, I love this card to death for a lot of reasons. One, she looks fucking badass. And two, again, another rear guard skill. But this is a one turn only, so um, be careful with this one because I kind of screwed up on it last time. So if you are in Final Rush, Carablast one and put two other rear guards into your soul. Choose a card from your soul called a rear guard, and that unit and this unit gets plus ten thousand power at the end of the turn. So if you put a two a grade two unit in the soul, depending on what it is, then Regina's skill will activate. Well, you can activate Regina's skill, put two of them in the rear guard, and then superior call one grade um one card from the soul to rear guard, and that unit in this unit gets plus eight K. So pretty awesome if you ask me. And then finally, we're playing four copies of Recluso Hate Dragon. And as you can tell, the main protagonists always get, the main antagonist or protagonist, sometimes get the gorgeous foil treatment of all the cards. So right now, you know, we've done Yu Yu, we've done Tamari, now we're doing uh, Donji, and now we're doing uh, Toya. So er, the main characters kind of get the, the nice foil treatment, while the other ones, they get the leftovers. And even though that kind of kills me because I'm beginning to actually like Buzz, Buzz Sagra a way more than I like Seraph or Light. And that's just me though because I win a lot more with Buzz Sagra rather than, you know, not. <laughs> Probably just me though. But anyways, that was a grade 1 lineup. So with grade 2, we're playing uh, 12 grade 2s. Um, so we're playing 12 grade 1s and 12 grade 2s. I think that's kind of like, kind of nutsy, but... You know, it is what it is. So we got four copies of Diablo's Boys Eden from the very first set. Still a main fave for a lot of reasons. And then we got four copies of Derek, which is from set three, which is again one of our other favorite cards to use. And then finally, let's introduce ourselves to the newest one from the set four collection. And this is going to be Diablo Striker Lyle. Lyle. And Lyle's skill is right here. Is an auto when this unit is placed on rear guard, Carablast one, and this unit gets five thousand power in the turn. Okay, if you are in final rush, soul charge two cards, choose a card from your soul, and call it an orphan rear guard. Way better and way more powerful than the other two because Eden provides a critical when he stands back up. Derek, uh, I'm gonna have to repeat with Derek again, so uh, 
choose one of your opponent's rear guards for every four cards in your soul, retire them. So he provides retirement, and this one provides a spirit call. So I think that's considered an even, evenly kind of match. You know, it's going to be fun. And for me, I cannot wait until I try this whole deck out either tomorrow or next week. But, you know, it is what it is. And I'm very happy I can do this. Okay, so remember I told you that we're only using two grade threes in this deck? And they're not normal units? Well, here it is. We have two copies of the normal order. Hellhem Fervent Rage. And this is these two right here. That's it. And what this card basically does is play with play this with discarded card from your hand. Now its other its skill is soul char counter charge one card. If you are in final rush, draw two cards, choose two cards from your hand, and call them to the rear guard. And they get five thousand power into the end of turn. So if you really want to, you can actually play three or four of the cards of this damn thing, which is not bad. But you have to make sure you have some counter blast some um non flip cards as well actually you use up all your counter blasting and then you can use it for spares. That's the only downside. So, yeah, two copies of that one. Finally, for our grade four, we're playing four copies of Diablo's Unrivaled Bruce, the, the evolved form of, regular, of grade three Bruce. What this card does is Vanguard only, so it's all the different Vanguard. At the start of your ride phase and to the end of the turn, you have final rush. Okay? Fair enough. Vanguard, one turn only. At the end of battle, this unit attacked. If you are in final rush, counter blast one and soul blast five cards. Stand all your front row units, and this unit gets drive minus two into the end of turn. So you stand even your vanguard, I believe, as uh, send as well. So until so you only get one more drive check, so that makes it a quadruple, a quadruple, a quad drive, a quadruple drive. So Quinn quad. I don't know. Um, I don't even know anymore. I lost my count. Yeah, quadro. Yeah, okay. There you go. So, yeah. So you get quadruple drive for that turn. And, you know, it'd be nice to get a six drive check, you know, if you ask me. But, you know, four is enough. So you lose two. Big deal. You still get one more. So you get a four. But, yeah, this guy is a beast, it seems like. And I cannot wait to put him in Daybreak Sleep. So... There you go. Anyways, you guys, that is the conclusion deck profile update of uh, Diablo's Unrivaled Bruce. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video very much. So it was fun to making these decks still. And from all the material I actually have... Sorry, that was my phone. It was texting me saying that Jesus called. Fuck. Um, okay, I get it. Shit. Um, <laughs> anyways, you guys, sorry for the little bloopers and stuff, but... Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video very much so. It means so much to me. I do appreciate all your love and support for my channel and helping me grow it and giving me some inspiration, some ideas on what decks are probably best. I want to give a special shout out to uh, Vanity Azzle for making such nice compliments to my profile videos. Especially the one I recently got from him about the thumbnail about my Nirvana one because when I looked at him, I was like, Azzle, you have a very good eye in art, which is good. And then, you know, I want to thank Tubbers, Tibbers for his still love and support, you know, for my my channel and my videos. And he still wants to see a Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Binder update sometime or a Yu-Gi-Oh! Deck Profile here and there. And, you know, I will try and make one up when I get a chance sometime and we'll see what happens. But anyways, you guys, I'm going to get going. And you guys, please stay out of trouble, make good choices, and have a good rest of your day. I'm your host, Simon Frost. See you guys next video. Bye, guys.